Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Mean Gene Show here on iHeartRadio. Hope you are having a wonderful start to your weekend. I am once again broadcasting from Virgin Hotels, Las Vegas, my favorite place. Come on, where else would I be right now? Okay, we are just a couple of weeks away from the big game. We're going to be talking about that today and some of the exciting things that are going to be happening here at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. The show is brought to you by Virgin Hotels Las Vegas, the newest resort off the block. If you haven't been here, folks, come on. You got to make it part of your New Year's resolution to get out and do something that you've never done before, and we want you to do it at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. We are also brought to you by Captain. Captain, elevating standards, lowering admissions, premium electric rides you can feel good about okay they are the official transportation service of the mean jeans show each and every time we come to town they pick us up in some nice classy luxury cars and get us over here to the virgin hotels las vegas i am joined today by my co-host who i have uh, we have to drag him in over from california which is not that far from las vegas right but um I have worked with uh, this guy for so many years, and we have some great memories of some games that uh, we have covered over the years. Clippers, Lakers, Raiders, uh, the Angels, you name it. We have worked together, and I'm glad to have him back on the team. Please welcome downtown Wayne Brown. Mean Gene, always great to be back here, especially here enjoying the Virgin Hotel, where he just... You're just ecstatic, and I think we saw a nice show here last night at the Virgin Hotel in the Shag Room. I've been enjoying this place out of all places that we've done shows over the years. I think this is the location for us. So let's make this our home. Uh, it is our home. Come on, look. Hey, it's it's home because you know I sleep very good in my bed at the, in in the uh, Canyon Tower here at Virgin Hotels. You know they have. The Canyon Tower, the Opal Tower, the Ruby Tower, you name it. You're going to get a good night's sleep wherever you are. So um, i tell you what now. We have another guest here. And, and you know, uh, Virgin Hotels is doing so much for the big game here. As a matter of fact, um, it, look, regardless of who makes it to the big game, it doesn't matter. We want you to celebrate Super Sunday at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas on February 12th. Super Sunday, we want you to come down here and... Uh, we have, uh, we're going to tell you what's going to be going on, but we actually have some special guests that are going to tell you what's happening at their uh, particular venue. And today we have uh, the chef, the man. Now, what I wouldn't have known he was the chef if he didn't <laughs> come in with the, with the chef. He is the chief, uh, he is the, the, the lead chef, the main man at Cassie Beach House, and that is Chef Josh. Josh! Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on, man. Hey, anything to get out of the restaurant for a little bit. Well, you know what? Look, we're gonna have to. We're gonna treat you just like we do all the other guests that come from the, the the restaurants and and when they come up here with no food, man, that's just not a good thing. <laughs> that's just we already off to a bad start, man. Because you know we didn't look. Breakfast was six hours ago for me, man. Oh, oh see, the, the thing is, is you, you know you read everything that we're gonna be doing for Super Bowl and you get really hungry. And then when you're talking about it, everybody hears it. They're like, wow, we really got to get in there for that day. Yeah, that's what did it, man, because I'm like, all right, see, well, you know what, Wayne, he'll learn the next time. We'll have some, because, man, we are spoiled up here. We get stuff delivered up here. There's food waiting for us when we get up here. We're like, where did it come from? And I got to get your job. <laughs> right. You know, they'd have the different titles of chef, executive chefs, and things like that. Without food, they're going to be a cook. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, look here. Now, look, we're talking to the man. We talk to the man that prepares the meals. It doesn't get any better than this. So uh, tell us, tell us, well, tell us about uh, Cassie Beach House. So Cassie's great. We overlook the pool. We do coastal Italian food. So you come in, you want to grab a pizza, you want to grab a nice drink. We got pastas, we got steaks. We got a little bit of something for everybody. You know what? Um, and I tell you what, and, and it doesn't matter that we're still in the, the middle of winter. You guys are still busy, even though it's not the, the summertime just yet. Yeah, no, it uh, it stays good for us all year. Uh, right now, with all the conventions, it's uh, it's always flipped. It's even like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are your busy days. Everybody's coming in for conventions. Yeah. They're really busy. Weekends aren't so bad. Then come the, the summers, it'll flip flop for us. Oh, and, and it just seems like you guys are just really, really busy because is it because you're so conveniently located by 
you know, you, you have that going out towards the yeah, pool. Yeah, no, we're right off the main floor of the casino. Mm -hmm. uh, you walk through our place, we go right out in the main pool. Uh, we actually have some cabanas on the pool, so during the summer we service those as well. Mm -hmm. um, we got huge sliding glass doors, so the whole restaurant is open air during the summer. Um, so it's really nice. You get a uh, great view, relax, enjoy some good food and drinks. Absolutely. So you're going to be getting ready for the big game here. You you have, uh, just tell us some of the things you're going to be actually serving there and what are the, uh, what's the, the, you know, what's the cost and all of that so we can let our listeners know. Yeah, so we're doing um, a special menu for the big game. Um, basically, we're just going to open for the Super Bowl that day. Come in, it's $125, all you can eat. So it's all of our uh, favorites, all of our normal food, all of our pastas and our pizzas. Mm -hmm. Plus we're adding on uh, from brunch, we do our Cassie burger. So that'll be available. And I'm gonna do a chicken wing special. So you'll have that as well. Um, there'll be a couple other specials that you can order, but uh, you're gonna sit down, you can see yours for the entire day. Uh, we got 29 TVs coming in, so I don't. Wow. Uh, you can spin, watch a uh, different view from every part of your chair, but you'll be, uh, you'll definitely be able to see something. You know that is great. So I want to talk about one of the items on this menu because you have the Cassie uh, burger with the double beef patties and all that. So is that all you can eat too? Yes, it is. How big is this patty? Uh, it's about an eight ounce burger, but uh, topping wise and everything, it's like, you know, what a Big Mac should have been. <laughs> You're going to have folks, you know, like passing out, right? I, I want to know who can eat. Oh, you can eat hamburgers. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see somebody with just like a burger dangling from their hand. Yeah. While they're sitting there, like, I can't eat anymore. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, what you have, Wayne? You had something? Talk about the wings. What type of wings do you have? I know they're very Yeah, so we're going to do, um, you know, uh, classic deep fried chicken wings. We're going to have a couple sauces. We're going to do uh, homemade buffalo sauce. Um, we've got our homemade salsa rosa, which is a, like, a spicy Calabrian chili that we do. Um, you know, they're just going to be uh, your typical classic ones. Um, you know, homemade blue cheese dressing, homemade ranch. Um, so you come in, you can have that all you can eat. You know, have a plate of that in front of you, have a plate of burgers, have a pizza. You can just stare at it the whole day if you want Ooh, to. But, uh, get out of here. Yeah, I got to make sure you get the drinks, <laughs> get the food. Folks, once again, we are talking to the executive chef of Cassie Beach House, and that is Josh Stockton. And hey, where are you from, Josh? I'm from uh, Detroit originally. Okay. All right. Yeah, we were talking about that before we kind of started the show here. So, Detroit. So, that has to make you a Lions fan. It does. You know, it's just uh, alternating years of my life of uh, shame, denial, little sparks of hope. Um, about every three, four years when we fire our guys and hire new ones, you got a little hope for a little yeah, while yeah. until they're gone again. Um, but, you know, we're still uh, we're two years in now with uh, Campbell. He's still got, still got some hope, man. They finished strong and... Uh, Kept Aaron Rodgers out of the playoffs this year. I'm going to tell you a little secret here about the Detroit Lions. The running back Jamal Williams, who led, led them in touchdowns. Well, he, they lived in the house that I live in now oh, when really? he was in high school. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they lived there for five years. The house is 12 years old. They lived there for five years. They moved out. I buy the house. But uh, he's, he's good friends. Uh, I'm, I'm good friends with the family and so on and so forth. But he's, he's such a special kid, and Detroit is the absolute right place for him. Yeah, it was good to, have, good to bring him in, and I'm sure he enjoyed that uh, last touchdown he scored to win the game against no. the Packers this year. <laughs> hey, exactly. he was pretty good for fantasy football, too, Probably this won. year. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So you got to love Dan Campbell, man. What a guy. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, it's the first time in a long time we've actually felt uh, hope longer than about one year. Maybe two, so, but uh, finishing strong like that, going in, and you know, still getting a little, a uh, little extra from that Matt Stafford trade. Man. So, right. <laughs> and look, and I gotta say, you know, even just from a betting gambling perspective, man, Detroit, you know, kind of made us some money this year. They covered some, they won games that they just outright won, or right. if they didn't win, they were in them at to the end. Yeah, they they played hard. You know, even mm -hmm. earlier in the year. Aaron Glenn's got that defense coming along. A lot of young players. I think I said our average age on our roster was like 25. Right. One player yeah. over the age of 30. So yeah. they uh, they definitely got some stuff, and it's looking up for them in the years coming. Maybe they'll actually win more than one playoff game in my lifetime now. So are you excited <laughs> about the draft pick, uh, Aiden Hutchison? Yes. Is he a stud or what? I think he is. Yeah, he's going to be great. <laughs> he's going to yeah. be great. What a difference. Just guy. Man, one player on that team just made the difference. So. Uh, well, you know, the Pro Bowl is going to be over at uh, Legion Field, so are you going to get over there and see some of your, your lines over there? <laughs> is there more than one over there? <laughs> uh, how many did they get in I'm there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to well, check 
Aiden Probably. Hutchinson definitely should be over there. I don't know anymore. With the uh, it's weird with the game now. They play flag football. They oh, have the skills right. competitions and stuff like that. <laughs> well, you know, look, mm -hmm. I cannot knock the uh, Pro Bowl because you know the NFL would not like me to say any bad things. But <laughs> I went to it last year, and I, you know, for fans that have never gone or been to one, you got to go. Uh, the experience to see all of those stars, you know, they're going to be right there and they sign autographs. They do a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, no, the, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Football never really lent itself to like a full contact uh, all star game. This is, I think, is the, uh, the best of both worlds. They get to meet everybody, they get to have some fun, they get to enjoy their time out here. Okay. So, what's one of the best items on the menu there, or like just right now, not, you know, not necessarily for the big game, but just what on the regular day, what do you recommend there? Hmm, let's see. I, we just changed over a lot of our menu um, for the fall season and the winter. Um, I really like the mushroom carbonara right now. Um, vodka pasta is by far our biggest seller. Um, but the mezze dip platter, I think, is uh, everybody's favorite. You know, it's okay. three, uh, three different dips. You got uh, eggplants, you got uh, whipped ricotta, you got a white bean. Comes with a uh, pucha bread, which is our homemade pizza dough, and some vegetables. And you can dip and try everything on the table. Oh, wow. now, did you say vodka? Uh, vodka pasta. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's a uh, uh, tomato, uh, spicy tomato cream sauce. Really? Yeah, that's easily our most popular pasta. Wow! So, is there something that sets you guys out um, that's totally different from other uh, Italian restaurants? Um, I think overall, it's just the uh, it's kind of the vibe. You go into a lot of Italian restaurants; it's kind of it can be either kind of stuffy or it's not as quite fine dining. Mm -hmm. For us, you're going to get the great food, you're going to get the great cocktails, you're going to get the great experience, but it's in a much more laid back setting. You know, like I said, you're overlooking the pool. It's like you're on uh, some beach in Mexico or the Mediterranean. Okay. And you just get yeah, to relax and enjoy it. That is the atmosphere, no, yeah. no doubt. So, uh, and, and you know what? And, and and this is funny because I always see all you can eat specials, but I never see all you can drink specials. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist. Does it? it really doesn't. They're, uh, you know, the uh, the state uh, those state governing bodies frown upon those things sometimes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, yeah, we don't want to encourage that kind of, you know, behavior to your body and all of that great stuff. So, wow. So, uh, you know, talking about the big game, do you uh, who who do you prefer? You know, it's championship weekend, right? We got we down to the final four of the NFL. So, who who do you like? I don't know. I feel like at this point, like. It's hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. You know, I just saw some practice footage. He's limping a little bit, but he yeah. gets out there and he can get in. I wouldn't want to bet against him. Okay. Um, but I really think uh, I think the Eagles will get through. I, I think Jalen Hurts, uh, he's a special quarterback, so I think they'll get through. But I think a lot of that just about. I'd, I'd like to see Jalen Hurts win one. I like him. So you got Philly and KC, sounds like. Sounds like. That sounds I think like so. You know, yeah. that sounds like an exciting marketing, good Super Bowl, um, good you know what I'm saying? It sounds pretty interesting. Absolutely. But, you know, um, Joe Burrow, it's just hard to beat that kid. It today. really is. He, he's he's that's the thing. Though. Like Between Mahomes and between Burrows, you got that almost like Michael Jordan thing where you don't, I don't want to bet against either one of them. Right, right. right. Wait, but somebody's got to walk out of that game. Somebody's got to walk out. I believe out. Cincinnati's going to test that ankle of uh, Mahomes. Yeah. So but I'm just really shocked out. that uh, because we're out here on the West Coast, we're not far from California, there are a ton of 49er fans out here. There's a lot. Um, not yeah. quite as many as the Raiders, even before yeah, the Raiders came that's here. Right. It's always uh, big out here, but. I don't know, man. At some point, is Purdy going to start acting like a rookie? I mean, yeah, not, you know what? With that how, much, with that much offensive have, weapons. How long like, have we? It's what we seven games eight, into this seven already. Games, eight games. How long are we going like to be still in this? this. Yeah. Pretty right. soon, it's going to be. He's yeah. going to be hosting up a trophy. It, it could be. <laughs> you know, right. can't be any. Uh, can't be any worse <laughs> right. than when Foles won it with the Eagles. I, I just, know it. Just so, what brings you to Vegas from Detroit? Um, I moved out here in like 2005 when the win opened. So I graduated okay. uh, culinary school and they did a massive hiring event. And okay. I'm like, do I want to go from uh, back to Detroit where it's cold or I'm going to try something new? So came out here sight unseen and kind of been here ever since. So okay. tell, me, tell me about culinary school. I, um, I'm i retired now and I was thinking about culinary school as something I want to do. You know, that's what Lionel Manny yeah, did. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember that. You know, so that's something I kind of been thinking about. What is it about culinary school or can I just cook from my mother's recipe? You can cook from your mother's recipes. You can cook from magazine recipes. You can cook from mine. It's just practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the things a lot of the schools do now is they do uh, continuing education classes. You can go in there, take a class for a couple really? weeks. You don't got to go into the full oh, school I didn't know that. get the full degree, but you can go in there and it's just practice. And it's, you know, learning how uh, everything cooks together and mixes and does that. And it's a lot of it's your own personal tastes. So 
Well, what, what I think Josh is trying to tell you, Wayne, like if you want to go back there with him, he's going to have to watch you <laughs> boil water first. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long does he get to boil water? Is there a technique to it? <laughs> well, we got two gigantic pasta cookers, so I don't think it's going to take him that long. <laughs> right. Although some of those, those things look like uh, space-age uh, rocket ships when you try to turn them on. <laughs> right. So, you know, with reality TV, a lot of folks, you know, the, the, there's so much cooking on TV, you know, and, and – uh, so then what kind of chef are you, Chef uh, Josh? Are you mean? Do you yell at folks? Do what happens when if the meal is not ready and does it come through you? And I mean, are you screaming and shouting at anybody? No, I'm not a screamer. I'm not a shouter. <laughs> I came up. My dad was a chef. I worked in those restaurants where I got yelled at. That's that's that's, that's hard, man. That's a lot of stress. Um, you know, it is. I lay, I'm, I'm calm. I'm relaxed. Um, you know, I got a four-year-old who keeps me on my toes, so I like to have my... Uh, <laughs> Uh, my energy, my voice for when I get home because it's going to get tested then. I so, got you. I heard you say your dad was a chef. So what age did you start cooking and when did you know you wanted to be a chef? Um, I think my dad, when I the summer I turned uh, 12, woke me up on the first day of summer vacation, said you're coming into work. Um, and he ran uh, an Italian restaurant and I spent the summer making pasta with the, uh, the owner's uh, mom and her sisters. Mm -hmm. So all summer that. And then I thought that's what it was going to be. It was great. And then the next summer I was a dishwasher. So and then oh, I worked wow. my way all the way up from the bottom. <laughs> Man, so. you said none of this dishwasher stuff because those oh, are some pretty big pots oh, and pans well, to wash. You know, <laughs> when he gets you hooked, you're just making pasta in the nice, uh, the nice room in the back. And then all of a sudden the next summer you're doing the dishes once you're hooked on it. So. Oh, great stuff. Well, hey, uh, Josh, we have enjoyed having you on the show. And we look forward to uh, the big game on Sunday. And... And we're going to send everybody over there to you. I appreciate Cast it. Beach Thanks, House. Absolutely. All right, folks. We are going to take a break because we have another guest coming up here. And uh, he's going to talk about what's happening at his venue. So stay tuned. You are listening to The Mean Gene Show right here on iHeartRadio. And we are back, folks. Once again, you're listening to The Mean Gene Show right here on iHeartRadio. We are once again at my favorite place in Las Vegas, Virgin Hotels, Las Vegas, 4455 Paradise Road. You should know that by heart now because I have told you where you need to be when you come to Las Vegas. All right, so we were, uh, we just got off the, uh, the, uh, the mic with uh, Chef Josh Stockton. He's the executive chef at Cassidy Beach House. So they're going to have some good things going on for the big game here. Celebrate Super Sunday at Virgin Hotels, Las Vegas, February 12th. So, uh, but we also have uh, another great friend. He's been on the show before, and we've talked about his restaurant because that's just one of my hangouts. I get in trouble every time I go to his spot because all the other general managers in here, like, well, we see you hanging out down there. So when you coming down there to, to our spot, so... <laughs> Uh, this is a great gentleman here. He is the general manager of uh, Casa Calavera, Kevin Sharp. Welcome back, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to be here. So, look here. Uh, you, look, uh, Chad Jordan busted me. You know, I was setting because I was hoping, you know, uh, the hostess wouldn't set me by the walkway so people would see me, you know, because I know he's. He, so, well, you wasn't here. Danny Sharma was here that time. He goes, oh. I see you hanging out with Kevin. <laughs> you don't hang out enough with me. Hey, the food is so good. Yeah, you know, even before I met you, I, that, that was just, it's still my number one spot here. Thank you. Thank and uh, I would deny it if someone put me to the carpet on that. <laughs> so, so what's been going on? Everything's good. You know, listen, we're just getting geared up for the big game and, uh, really excited. We're excited for a few reasons. We have the big game coming up, and then we also have March Madness coming up. So it's sports time here. You know it. Yes, it's sports time here. You know it. So, hey, let's talk about specifically what's going to be happening uh, at Casa Calavera. What, what are you going to be offering the, the, the football fans? Yeah, well, we have, um, we have a couple of things. We have a all-you-can-eat package here. It's $75 per person. And it's not your normal all-you-can-eat bar food where it would just be chicken wings. I mean, our entrees, we are featuring things like enchiladas and fajitas and taco platters and quesadilla platters. Uh, we've brought this up to the nth degree so that everyone can come over here, have a good time, sit there for hours, get full. Mm -hmm. We also have a bar package. Now, you can come in and you can drink all you can drink for $65, but okay. we're asking everyone to do it responsibly. You know, if you know you're going out to the game and you're going to be drinking and drinking heavily, we ask you to take an Uber or have a designated driver. 
Um, this package will be for two hours and two hours uh, only. We don't want people to go too crazy. Right. So after two hours, the package will stop, and then they're more than welcome to purchase more drinks after that. But we don't want to. We don't want to uh, have people crawling out. Right. Yeah. So it's sixty-five dollars for all you can drink for those two hours, and then seventy-five dollars for all you can eat. So when you talk about those two-hour time window, is that a certain two hours, or is it from the time you come in and purchase your 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 drink, your uh, your package? Very good question. It's from the time you come in, and once you start the order, that's what that's when the time will start. So if you come in, let's say you come in at three o'clock, three o'clock will start. Um, so you go from three to five. You come in at four, it'll go from four to six. Got it. Absolutely, got it. And, um, and Budweiser, the official sponsor. Okay. Uh, is helping us out. So we're going to have a lot of fun here. So they're sponsoring us as well. So we're going to be doing giveaways. At halftime, I'm going to be emceeing it, and we're going to be giving away some wonderful uh, swag. So I'm asking nice. everybody to come on out, be uh, participate in this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I did it two years ago at one of our other locations, and uh, the swag that they give us, it's not like... Um, an ice bucket or something like that. You get some real nice okay. things. So that's nice. cool. That's great stuff. So you know, just talking about the big game itself. Do you have a preference here? Of uh, you know, we're down to the final four of, of the NFL here. So do you have a preference? And what do you think your your guess uh, preference would be for the matchup? Um, good question. I don't have a preference right now. Um, I do have some friends and some of my family members um, think that the Eagles are going to pull this out. Okay. Um, and that's it. I just want everyone to just come over here, show us who you are, and bring your wear your favorite jersey. Okay. Just have fun because that's what it's really about, that's right? It, absolutely. Having a good time. Absolutely. And you know, when you mentioned about drinking too much, that only happens with the fans who whose team is probably getting the brake speed off of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can hey, say that again. Yeah, you know, so I'm worried about, I'm worried you, about them. You really got to watch them. Like, if you see some lopsided score, oh, Lord, stop, cut the drinks. Cut the drinks immediately. <laughs> or I'll call the Uber myself. <laughs> yeah, call yeah. the Uber. Yeah. Yeah, now, you know, when, when you have big games and things like that, uh, the fans like to get together and they, they, they like to have shots and things like that. Is there... You want to talk about that, having shots and things like that? I'm so glad you brought that up because when we do bar packages like that, um, shots are not a part of it. Okay. Again, we just want people to come out, have a good time, uh, not get wasted. But So you can sip on your drinks, you enjoy your drinks over the two hours, but there'll be no shots and no shooters. Now listen, people who are coming and purchasing drinks on their own without bar packages, sure, they can purchase shots, yeah, but okay, uh, shots you. will not be a part of the bar package. Okay, so and I thought about this because normally, you know, uh, because this is the big game, but you always do like the brunch type thing, so how, how are you mixing that in there? Very good. So... Um, there will be no brunch menu during okay. that time. It will okay. just be this menu. Uh, this will be the only menu that we will be offering that afternoon. Okay. Um, so we'll start off with this, and then we'll transition later on in the evening to our regular dinner menu. Okay. Uh, so these will be the two menus that we'll be offering that day. And I got to remember that, you know, the big game starts at, at what is it, 3.30 here? Well, yes. Yeah, See, because in yeah. Texas, I have to, you know, we have, it's 5.30, and then, of course, you know, on the East Coast, it's 6.30, so... Right. Uh, well, there you have it, actually. To tell the truth, our brunch will be over by that time, by the time that the the game starts. So oh. brunch will be happening, but it'll be over at oh, the, by the time. Oh, it would have been the, over. Uh, okay, By gotcha. the time the game starts. So, so this will be the only menu at that time. Right? So that makes sense. So, look, you already have, you know, quite a few TVs in there, and I like how you got them positioned throughout the restaurant. So are you going to be adding any additional TVs, or are you, you, you going to just keep it where it's at? You know, it's so funny. I really love all the questions that you're asking because uh, we did take it again to the nth degree, and we have more TVs coming. Oh, wow. So currently right now on our compendium, we have eight TVs that are in there. One of them will be a 120-inch uh, drop screen Whoa. TV. Whoa, wow. Okay. But we've also added a 75-inch TV and two other 65 inches TV, 65 inch TV. So we have a total of 11 TVs that will be oh, wow. in play on Super Bowl. Oh, that's so interesting. Is this, yes. is this so, just an indoor setting, outdoor? So indoor? for this one, it'll just be an indoor setting. Okay. Now for March Madness, it will be indoor and outdoor. Uh, got but you know yes. what, Kevin, what about the weather? Because you never know what the weather is going to be like on. So are you prepared to open up the patio if it's 
70? Well, that's exactly the reason why we're not opening it up. Because okay. if we're taking a lot of reservations and we want to pack the reservations, we yeah. want to make sure that we have seats for everyone. Okay, gotcha. And this weather gotcha. has been hit or miss I know. all over the I place. Cold as January. I know. Yeah, I know. Right. You know, this is the only time of the year I, I think about growing hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it, it's rough, man. You got to keep something on that dome. You know what I mean? <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Folks, once again, we are talking with the general manager of Casa Calavera, Kevin Sharp, here on the Mean Gene Show, and he is letting you know what to do and where to be on the big game, the Super Sunday here at Virgin Hotels, Las Vegas, February 12th, and the Casa Calavera, $75 per person, all you can eat, and uh, just get full. You know, you ever, you know, uh, you ever see that commercial? It's not, I don't know if it's a commercial, I think it's a meme that sort of circulated around the uh, the country where the, the the little kid is eating so much spaghetti that he falls asleep. You, you ever seen that? He's just he's he's full. Man. He's got like pasta sauce all over his mouth. He's just like you know falling asleep. So that that's probably what's going to happen here with all of this stuff you have here. The the starters and the mains and the and and the desserts. Uh, so wait a minute, there was one I wanted to. Yep. So talk, go ahead, Wayne. No, I was going to say you know it's. I, I like the 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 meal prep that they have here because normally you have just wings, uh, correct? You know, carrots and celery stuff like that. That's but right. you guys have a full out and out on dish here. And that's, yes, you got some great items on this uh, on this selection. Here. Yeah, and yeah. what we made sure to do is we want to make sure that we did not exclude anyone. So um, about half of these items are for vegan or vegetarian people as well. So it's not all meat and potatoes. It's you have your salads, your vegetables, and things of that nature as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's something for everyone. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So look, I'm 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 a big person on feedback and everything, man. And I I just want to tell you that your staff is excellent. Your wow, staff, thank you. absolutely. Thank and you so much. they uh, not only you know it's not how they treat us. We I see how they treat the other folks, people that come in there. They are just wonderful. Well, thank you. I, I you know listen. Um, our hostesses are, are fantastic, and we, we have one hostess that's very partial to you, um, <laughs> very partial to you, and, and, and she's waiting to meet your son, by the way. Uh, from what oh, I understand. oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I was telling, I was telling right. Wayne about that, and you know, she she's she's really good. You know what she does? She doesn't ask me if I'm dining. She goes. <laughs> So when are you coming? When, when are you dining? <laughs> right. Yeah, there it's you almost like she already know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Kevin and his marketing is pretty good. <laughs> you don't get options there. Right. You're like, okay, I know you're coming through, but so what time can I put you down there for? There you go. Right. That's, That's exactly what she does. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. So, Kevin, hey, it's always good to see you. You know, we see you all the time, and um, it's it's just a pleasure. So we're going to we'll circle back. Uh, after the big, well, you know what? I, just before I let you go, so March Madness. So just, yeah. and I know we got months before where well, to be here before you know it. Yes. So what? Give us a little sneak peek. Well, March Madness will be similar, however, with more TVs. Okay. Because we will definitely be opening outside. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So we'll have oh. TVs inside. We'll have TVs outside. Again, this is for the month of March. So I'm telling everyone to be prepared. It's going to be if you're coming for March. If you're not coming for March Madness, just understand it's going to be loud. We're, we will have TVs oh, on. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be fun. That that month we're really looking forward to. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, as always, Kevin, we we will we will be there. Can't wait. Absolutely. And I, I will have the VIP see. table ready for you. That, that's right. what I'm talking <laughs> that's about. That's right. <laughs> All right, folks. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna wrap up. The Mean Gene Show, kind of talk a little bit about the big game. Well, not the big game, but the big games this weekend. So stick around. You listen to the Mean Gene Show right here on iHeartRadio.